June Crane worked in a classified office at the base. Shortly before she died, she told her story. I started at Wright Patterson in 42. I was 18 years old. And all of the people I worked with were older than me. So I'm probably the last survivor of my lab group and probably the last one still around to talk about it. I had a Q clearance. I worked with scientists and with engineers. I knew a man named Clarence Smith. He was a master sergeant. He came in one day before we started to work very upset. Clarence told us that his plane brought back two bodies in crates from New Mexico. When I asked which plane had crashed, he said, it wasn't a plane, it was a flying saucer. Well, they knew of three crashes that I was aware of by 1952. Maybe there were more. In 52, there was a crash cover-up. Roswell was in 47. That balloon story was a damn lie then, and it's still a lie. When I interviewed June, I realized that I was getting a rare glimpse into another period of time that was right at the heart of the mystery of ufology. I began to understand the full extent of the cover-up, the difference between what was commonly known to engineers and scientists and what is probably still known to this day and what has been revealed to the public. An officer showed me a piece of metal. I think that it was Lieutenant Rose. He was one of those guys in the office who liked to talk to me. Lieutenant Rose asked me to break it up, tear it apart if I could. He handed me the scissors. I couldn't dent it or cut it. But it had no weight at all. It was like a feather. And so strong, it was sort of a grayish um, gunmetal type of color. And you could see that on the inside, there was a different, that there was coating on the outside. Both sides of it was the same. And the inside seemed to have a, a sort of a, uh, lead colored, a light lead colored center. To what it. were the edges of this like? Were they even or was well, it like part of something it else? It was even. Even. It was all even. even. And I said, what is it? He said, it's a piece of spa a spaceship. When I, you know, got through with it and I couldn't do nothing with it. I, I said, well, what is it? And he says, piece of a spaceship. 